Alright guys, welcome back, and in this video we're going to be fixing a few problems with the game. The first one is, right now, check out this first meatball whenever I run the game. It falls right through the ground. Not good. Even though it has physics applied to it, our game doesn't know yet that this brown stuff in this little grass right here is the ground. Even though we can see it as human beings and realize we need to tell Construct 2 that it needs to treat this area as the ground. Now, before I do that, I want to mention this. Right now, um, of course, whenever we play the game, the camera follows the meatball whenever we fire it. And this is um, really good for uh, the final game. But just for developing it and making sure that we see everything, I actually like to take this entire window. And I like to see everything at once. So, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. If you click New Project right here, Actually, I forgot what the size of my layout was. All right, so go ahead and copy your layout size. And then in your projects panel right here, click a new project. And I'm gonna make my window size the same size as my layout size. Now, whenever I do this, you guys can see that my entire window is now uh, pretty much that so it's a little bit different than if you were to play Angry Birds or something but this is really useful whenever you're just developing your game and you don't wanna keep looking back and forth with your camera so that's uh, how I'm gonna develop this game from here on out but just remember whenever you export your final game to go back and actually change your window size so right now I'll make sure to go back in the layers panel and have that game selected and now another issue I want to take care of is this. Of course, now we can work on the issue with the meatball going through the ground. Obviously, we don't want that to happen. We want it to pretty much roll across the ground. So in order to do this, take this sprite right here, and hopefully you named it square, or it is named square already, and drag it down the bottom right here. And the size... Um, the height really doesn't matter that much, but what you can do is you can just uh, resize it to something like 1500 because remember that's how wide our game is. Let me scroll out a little bit so you guys can see. So make sure you have it exactly 1500 wide and it could be just 100 taller or whatever. So now if we scroll in and I just accidentally hit all on my keyboard so alright want to make sure my it didn't mess up my screen recorder at all and position this exactly right there maybe even alright so pretty much position it right where the ground is and since it just looks annoying right here I'm also gonna change the opacity of it from 100 to 50 although that's not really gonna matter and also another thing I want to point out is I'm just changing the opacity so it's a little bit easier to work with it right now. Opacity means transparency of course. Oh, I don't know why I said that. You guys know that. And um, whenever you export your final game, make sure that you have the opacity at zero for this, meaning that it's there but no one can see it. So right now, again, just go ahead and put it at 50 and that allows us to work with it easy but still see the ground in the background. And actually what I can do is change the name from this to ground and that way we can be, um, you know, whenever we're adding physics to it or um, behaviors to it later on, it's easier to see our objects if they're named properly. So right now we put the square at the ground but we didn't say to treat it as a physics object yet. So other things like the meatballs and the cannon and the tower interact with it. So in order to do this, Make sure you have it selected and add a physics behavior. And whenever we do this, the meatball can now roll across it. It will treat it as um, a solid object, basically. Now, before we just start firing stuff into it, I want to add a couple other properties to it. So, the first thing I want to do is I want there's a property called immovable, and I just want to go ahead and set this equal to. Um, yes, and as you can see, it goes enable 
to make object have infinite mass ideally for scenery so basically it allows um, things to work properly whenever you're using them in the background scene and another thing I want to do is prevent rotation so prevent the object rotating when hit now the reason I selected that is because we don't want even though this is treated like a real life object right now we don't want it to interact with really anything so whenever we hit these blocks right here they're gonna tumble around they're gonna move however whenever we hit this ground with a meatball we don't want it to rotate or move around or bump around at all so that's why we pretty much need to make it immovable and prevent rotation and that takes care of all of that so now it covers the area that we want opacity is at 50 and now whenever I shoot the meatball you see the first one just dropped and landed there which means it's working awesome and check that out pretty freaking sweet so we can either just shoot this first one or the second one and all of the physics are built right into Construct2 which makes this incredibly awesome and efficient one of the reasons I use uh, I love working with these game um, making softwares and engines rather than coding everything by scratch because coding like all the laws of physics by scratch and gravity and how things react take a crap load of time so anyways we got our ground working we got our meatballs behaving sweet so uh well that's it for this tutorial i think so thank you guys for watching and well see you next time